M0 FXB, let's add a 70 centimeter repeater and name it. So, first thing we'll do is go to VFO mode and we'll type in the output of our repeater, which is 430925. Okay, that is GB3FI. Next thing we're going to need, need to do is have a shift. So, let's hold down. The F menu, go to menu number 25, repeater shift first is 24, push the channel knob here, and then turn, it says auto, we're going to put in a plus shift there, okay? Push the button, then go down to 25, and we want the, frequency, the shift frequency along the bottom here to say 7.6, if it doesn't, you push it and you can turn the channel knob. But that's fine, ignore repeater, reverse, and you could at this point, number 23, select automatic repeater shift and it should put it in there for you okay back out so we've got our plus shift and when we key on gb3 fi it should come up with 438525 which is correct now we want our mode so we'll hit the dx button here until it says fm if, if you were selecting a digital channel you can select dn and if you want voice wide you go into the menu for that the voice wide menu is number 14 but otherwise uh, hit D if you want to come out of DN because we're doing an analog channel. But if there's a line above, it will automatically switch to FM when it receives an FM carrier. So now we're on FM. We've still got a couple more settings to do. Push F menu. And let's select our power. I'll leave it high because we're just on an indoor antenna here for now. But low is normally fine. So we've got our power. And then we want to turn on our squelch. So highlight in orange by turning the channel knob. Squelch push it and then turn to tone encode. That's the one I prefer because then you can hear the beeps. If you go to tone squelch, then it will squelch, it will apply tone on the receive and you won't hear all the beeps, but it, you won't hear any squelch sounds either. That's it. So I'm going to use tone encode, push the channel knob, then go over to my tone, which on that repeater is 77 Hertz. So we push tone, and turn it backwards, the channel knob, to 77, like so, push. Now we should be able to back out now. So we've got 77 tone showing on the display, TN for the tone, a plus shift, and FM. Now the, the reason you've got this little telephone there is because that just means auto dial for DTMF, but we don't actually need that. So let's test it first. Mic Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo test. Now, we're, we're on an internal we're on an internal antenna anyway and so it's just not it's not reaching it basically it's, there it is there. it just kicked in there it's very weak to us but that's fine all the parameters are in so now we want to to store it and name it so the next thing is hold down VM choose where you want it to go so we've got a blank channel there in 04 but we could overwrite other channels 04 or we can go further down but 04 seems fine. Hold down VM, that's what the MW stands for, memory write. Hold it down. Let's go back to memory mode, but well, that's VFO, but memory mode again, it says M or and we're on the A band by the way. There's A band there, A and B here. And so we've got it in there, but it's not named. Number four. So hold down VM again. Then go up, turn the channel knob upwards to the frequency or number four. And then push the channel thing. And instead of selecting right, you write edit. Push the channel knob. Go down to tag. You can add it to scan list. Go down to tag. Push the channel knob. And then I like to do capital. So scroll to caps. Push channel knob. Then go GB. We're going to put in GB3FI. Uh, the letters, because you turn backwards, it's quicker. Three. Then you have to go back to the select ABC, GB3, and then we just need F, then I. Then hold it. And then lastly, just scroll down to OK, push OK, and again. And it's in there and it now says, as you can see, GB3, FI, WR and other ones that I've put in there. So that's good. 
let's um, let's enjoy our repeater thanks for watching my channel please hit the subscribe button and like and yeah it's a lovely little radio and uh, really enjoying some of the features like the pmg feature it's, it's pretty good we can maybe add gb3 fi to one of them or we can back out back out of pmg stay on fi let's go back into memory we, you can add vfo channels to pmg and let's hold down pmg and we've now got five monitoring which is pretty good and it will scan through them but if you don't want to scan through just push the channel knob and it and now you can select the one you want to use pretty good eh? the idea is to add all active ones then it's going to be really interesting so that's what to me is the best feature of the FTM 200 is the PMG mode and the fact that you can change the color on the screen I really like that the downside is when you go into the menu they've done 120 menus on in a long list and I just think that's not the way to do it they should have they should change that to the grid so then each grid has a selection of about 20 like you can get like you do on the FTM 300 and 400 Bye for now though, otherwise I do like the radio, it's a nice radio and the case, the case on it is virtually identical to the 300 and the 400, it's got the slidey case. It does not come with Bluetooth, another thing that I think they should have included Bluetooth, although you can add a Bluetooth model, mod, module and a voice module and I will be doing videos on that as well. Bye for now, 7.3.